We are back in Python exam statistics. Exam statistics. Your students took their first test. Let's see how everyone did. It says. So we have a grade uh, list full of grades. We're gonna print grades, and then so on and so forth. So this basically looks like what we're gonna make here. So define a function on line three called print grade. So def print underscore grades with one argument, a list called grades. So this is gonna take in grades. All right, inside the function, iterate three grades, print each item on its own line. All right, so print, all right, so for i in grades, print i. And then we need to call it. So print underscore grades, grades, and that should be good. So there are all our grades. Review. All right, that jumped around a little bit. Let's compute some stats. All right, I can get down with that. On line three, uh, define a function called grade sum. So def grades underscore sum takes in a list of scores. So it takes in scores, computes the sum of the scores, returns a computed sum. So for i in scores, um, Let's do total. Total equals zero, so it's initially so that's zero. Total equals total plus i return total. So that should be good. Call the newly oh, and then call it. So uh, grades underscore sum, and uh, we need to put grades in here. Don't forget to print it. And there we go. So the total sum of the grades is a little over a thousand. So now define a function below the grade sum function that does the following. All right. Uh, has one arg. All right, so grades average. So def grades underscore average. Uh, has one argument grades. And let's see here, calls grade sum with grades. All right, so for compute the average of grades by dividing the sum by float len grades. All right, so um, I'll say average equals grades underscore sum grades divided by uh, float len grades return average I'll call it double check code so let's see we call this function As one of your grades, call grade sum with grades. Oh, and this needs to not be modulo. That needs to be that. And then finally, return. And then we need to call it. So let's go ahead and print uh, grades underscore average. And in it, we'll just put grades. I should do it just fine. So the average is 80. Print time to conquer the variance, it says. All right. So what's next? On line 18, write a new function called def grade underscore variance. Except one argument scores. First create a variable called average. Set that equal to grades. All right, so we're setting this equal to our average of scores. Next, create another variable called variance and equals zero. We will use this as a rolling sum. And then for each score and scores, all right, so for each score, they want to use this. For score and scores. 
compute its square different average minus score. Alright, so this is variance equals variance plus average minus score to the second power. Divide variance by the total number of scores. Alright, so then return the result. Alright, so variance equals variance divided by uh, length of scores. And then we want to return the variance. Finally, after your function code, print grades variance. Alright, so print grade. Oh, grades. Underscore variance grades. And let's see what's going on here. So, our grade variance is 334. All right. So now, to find a function, grades. All right, so def grades underscore standard underscore deviation variance. Return the result of variance. Return variance to the square root. After the function, create a new variable called variance. So we'll say variance, set it equal to the result of calling grades underscore variance grades. Finally, print grades underscore underscore oh, deviation rather. Ah, oh, standard deviation. Okay. We're doing a little bit of calculus, if I remember correctly. So, that's basically showing on average. I believe on average the difference is 18%. So, now, last but not least, a little bit of review. We want to, I think we did all this. Uh, print out the following. Alright, so print all the grades. So, we'll just work our way down. Let's take out all these print statements. Start at the top, so print underscore grades, grades. All right, so we just have to call that one. Some of the grades, so in this case, we need to actually declare print uh, grades underscore sum grades. And the next one is the average grades, so we actually have to declare print as well. So grades underscore average grades and let's see the variance so we also need to print grades underscore variance and in there we will put grades and finally we need to print standard deviation grades underscore std deviation and in here we need to put variance. I believe that's correct. Bam. So there are all our numbers. Blew through the exam statistics a lot easier than the last video. And up next, I think we're getting into advanced topics with Python, if I remember correctly. So we're blowing through here. So it looks like we're going to be get things allegedly are supposed to be getting a little bit harder. And I'll see you guys in the next video.